Yeah, hi peeps, it's uh, Terrace back in the old squat box once again. Uh, I haven't been up for a while, I've been playing a lot of games and stuff. Uh, but I'm, I'm just, my mind is just blown away by the way that, you know, uh, the Western nations, well, not just the Western nations, but the way that all nations of the world are dealing with, with uh, this um, fundamentalist Islam problem, you know, that we have. I mean, it is no less a problem than Nazism in the 40s, you know what I mean, 30s and 40s. It is exactly, to me in my mind, it's exactly the same kind of problem. If ISIS could ever get control of a country where, where it could secure its borders, you know, and, and had access to, um, you know, industrial military, uh, an industrial military complex to build war, a war machine like the Nazis did, it would do exactly the same thing as the Nazis did. We know that that's, that's their mindset. They are, this centuries, Nazis, right? That's basically what they are. They're not well, a religious cult. They are a political cult, disguising themselves as religious, you know? And the things they're doing are exactly, exactly what the Nazis did. We need to attack them the way we attacked the Nazis. The whole world needs to pull together and invade that country. Well, it's two, two or three countries now, Libya, Syria and, uh, you know, uh, Iraq. But the whole world needs to throw uh, about half a million to, to, you know, three quarters of a million men into that area with tanks, the fucking whole fucking shooting match, like we did with Europe, you know? We need to go into that fucking area and wipe those fuckers out. Go street by street in every village and every town. You know what I mean? And once you get in there and conquer a town, they might throw their guns away and hide, but the people in that town will be able to turn around and point them out. Like the, the, that happened with the Nazis that tried to hide, which happened with the collaborators in France and Italy. People knew who they were and pointed them out once you took that territory. And that's what we've got to do with ISIS in order to fucking get rid of them. You cannot sit and bomb them from there and hope that maybe somebody else is going to do the job for you. This is a fucking world problem. The longer they're able to keep putting their shitty fucking videos up on the internet, the more mentally fucking deranged young people are going to get caught up in it and end up doing things like what happened in fucking Tunisia. 30 fucking people shot to death on a beach. You know what I mean? What happened in France? You know, an American fucking gas plant bombed. People beheaded and killed, you know? This is just going to continue, and it's just going to go on and on and on, so long as they have the fucking home base to work from, and we treat them like it's, it's not a big problem, and eventually the Arabs will deal with it. I'm sorry. We need to go in there and deal with it. The Western world, we are the main target, right? We have got more to lose than any of these nations that, know Iraq, Liberia, these nations are, are in fucking free fall at the moment, right? And if we want to, uh, know, uh, avoid the free fall of Europe and the free fall of America, the free fall of the Western nations, we have to fucking set up a, 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 an attack on these people like we did with Europe and the Nazis in the 1930s and 40s. If we don't do that, this is going to drag on for a whole fucking century. We have a whole century of lost progress. You know, with, with the, 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 the um, progress of, of the world to become a safer and better place for all mankind. If we let these fucking fundamentalist fuckers do this shit, the next thing you'll have is fucking, yeah, half of fucking America will break away and they'll start, well, they're already bombing black churches, fire bombing black churches, shooting fucking people in the street, you know what I mean? I mean, America is just about to fucking descend into fucking, you know, the same shit as ISIS, you know what I mean? But from the fucking, the right wing. Right wing, white fundamentalist fucking Christians are fucking the same over there, shooting fucking doctors and shit, you know what I mean? Bombing fucking churches, shooting people in fucking schools. We need to fucking deal with this fucking ISIS shit, and then we need to help America sort their fucking problems out and come into the 21st fucking century, motherfucker. Get rid of your fucking guns. Fuck you with your fucking Second Amendment. What the fuck do you think you are? Something fucking special? The world is fucking changing. Get on board or you'll get fucking left behind, motherfucker. 
And we need to do that with fucking ISIS, we need to do it with America, we need to start fucking China out as well. With the fucking bullshit fucking monetary fucking uh, manipulation and the fuck time to try to take over the fucking world through commerce, you know what I mean? Fucking cunts. Sort that fucking shit out and all bankers. There's lots of fucking shit that needs to be fucking done in this fucking earth. And it's not going to get done by the fucking politicians we have now. Those motherfuckers need to retire and go and fucking sit on a beach some fucking where. I wish they'd been sitting on the Tunisian fucking beach, the fuckers, you know what I mean? Your fucking Mark fucking Rubios and your fucking Ted fucking Cruises. Could they be a fucking wet few less of them in politics, you know what I mean? Anyway, I think I'll fucking said quite clearly and plainly what we fucking need to do. We need to look at this threat the same way as we looked at the fucking Nazis in the last century. Uh, unless we want to see this next century end up with fucking two or three world fucking wars going on. Because this is it's a fucking world war. We just haven't declared it a world war. People are still doing business like the fucking banks tried to do the Germans where they were fucking bombing and fighting and fucking, you know, um, Austria and fucking Hungary and places like that. The rest of the world and the rest of the world tried to go on as if it wasn't fucking happening. And this is what we're doing again. It's just happening in a different part of the world. But it's exactly what was fucking going on with Germany when the hit fucking started. And we're going to sit back and let these fuckers do the fucking same thing this century? Have we learned nothing from the past? And these politicians who won't fucking turn around and tell us what we need to fucking do, won't convince the public to go along with it. Well, fuck you all, that's all I can fucking say. You will reap what you fucking sow. Sign your fucking van.